Hey YouTube, um, I finished my flying saucer by making a carbon fiber frame and uh, putting four little uh, 2840 kV motors on it like I have on my F-22 over there hanging on the wall. But um, the F-22 uh, will go 60 miles an hour with this prop and uh, 6.3, uh, I mean with this motor and 6.3 props on it. And this thing flies pretty good, actually, with the uh, in the flying saucer. I'll I'll show it show you how it flies now. I've already got my radio set up. Now I need to make a battery mount. If anybody has any ideas how I want to have it mounted up here and then have a little top on it. But uh, I'll mount the battery. Set it there for now. On the board, and it's on. Here we go. <laughs> and the battery has to stay pretty stable somehow. It's giving me issues. So that can get stay there somehow. Okay, that might hold it. <laughs> yeah, let me see. Let me see. If I can get it to stay in the middle there, not too much difficulty. <laughs> and there it is. Flying saucer. When it gets away from the ground effect, it flies a lot better. Now I'll bring it down. <laughs> it flies pretty good. I can't really mate in it today because it's raining outside. But I'll show you what happens. This is what I really like is this part right here. You can take the frame off, and you've got a nice little aerobatic quad that goes with it. You could hear how the motors were whining to lift the UFO, but when it's by itself, it has no problems getting in the air. I'll set this up here. Take this off. You got two things in one. Now I've got a little micro or a small quadcopter that will hover at about one quarter throttle. And it has got lots and lots of power for what it is. It is you'll see in just a moment. Cycle my radio so my receiver doesn't flash. Okay. Plug it in. really nice little i86 board again I just like these boards because they're so uh, so easy to set up and fly and this thing should be super fast so it's just about a quarter throttle it'll hover Oops, a little glitch. Alright. 
Well, I hope you like this, and hopefully soon I'll be able to get this thing out and maiden it outside. Get some flight time with it. I want, I want to see how aerobatic it can be. If you like this, please click like on there for me, or uh, uh, subscribe. You know, give me a thumbs up, please. You know, and maybe you know, like it. And uh, I'll have some more stuff coming up. Actually, I'll show you what I have coming up soon. Is my little here's my landing gear for it, but another tricopter. This one should be an aerobatic one. I've almost got it complete. I should have it done tonight. And maybe get some video for it soon. But it compacts down to a very small size and opens up like this. Okay, until next time, and hopefully this will be the next one you'll see. Uh, take care and, and uh, happy flying.